transmigrated to an evil man's body. Su Chang Sheng considered the original owner Su Chang Sheng as the antagonist. You really go looking for trouble everywhere, he muttered to himself, his expression filled with dedication. You have my admiration, Su Chang Sheng added, patting himself on the face lightly. Attempting to vent his frustration, Su Chang Sheng then tried to smack the Su Chang Sheng doll on the ground, shouting, Who made you go looking for trouble? Who made you cause trouble? He was filled with anger and frustration. I will beat you. How dare you provoke a pure protagonist template, like the orphan being auctioned? I'll beat you, Su Chang Sheng's master intervened, suggesting, Then I will send Xu Hua to take care of her. Shen Ruan's talent is too poor, not suitable to remain in the Supreme Sword Sect. Su Chang Sheng halted his master, saying, Wait, master, please hold on. His eyes blazed with determination to stop his master. She inquired, What's wrong? Su Chang Sheng explained, Master, I've been thinking, and I feel that this matter still needs consideration. He thought to himself, If you really let her leave, be prepared to collect the disciple's corpse. His master then asked, Consider what? Su Chang Sheng replied, Among us cultivators, there are many late bloomers. If we lose talent due to a mere mistake, wouldn't that be a loss for the supreme sword sect? He thought to himself, There are more important matters than dealing with a few villains. Taking care of your precious disciple is paramount. His master expressed surprise, I never expected you to consider the supreme sword sect so thoroughly. Let's follow your suggestion and postpone this matter for now. Su Chang Sheng thought to himself, The ominous aura hasn't resurfaced. It seems the crisis has temporarily passed. Anyway, let's go make contact with Shen Ru Yuan, a demon lord who can rival the entire cultivation world of the Great White Tai Shang Holy Land in just three years. If we can win her over, wouldn't it be double insurance? Suddenly, Zhao Xiu appeared in front of Su Chang Sheng flaunting her ample bosom. Zhao Siyu asked, What are you thinking? Her smile was accompanied by a large gem covering her cleavage. Yu Zhu Changsheng replied, After the void boat arrives at the Supreme Sword Sect, I have some minor matters to attend to. Later, you can arrange your accommodation on the peak by yourself. There are many guest rooms in my cave mansion. Choose anyone you like. Zhao Siyu asked, Choose anyone? She became ecstatic and said with a hint of lust, I want to sleep in Su Chang Sheng's bedroom. She hugged Su Chang Sheng, pressing her ample bosom against him. Su Chang Sheng simply replied, Sure, whatever you like. In another scene, Shen Ruoyuan stood outside, gazing at a door and muttered, Master, from now on, only Shen Ruoyuan will be left here. She tried to focus her blurry eyes on the table. Suddenly, the door was kicked open, and a voice exclaimed, Shen Ruoyuan, your master is dead. Do you still have the face to stay in the Supreme Sword sect? Get out quickly. From now on, this will be our cave mansion. Shen Ruo Yuan tried to defend the cave, asserting, This is Granny's residence. No one can take it away. A lady then slapped Shen Ruo Yuan and scornfully remarked, A complete waste without spiritual power. How dare you talk back to me? Shen Ruo Yuan stumbled and fell to the ground, her breasts jiggling slightly. The lady continued, Shen Ru Yuan, do you know? Senior brother has returned. He didn't turn into a useless person at all. Shen Ru Yuan thought to herself, Why did my caring master and granny leave? While that scum who made me suffer is still alive. She struggled to hold back her tears, thinking, If it weren't for Su Chang Sheng, I wouldn't be bullied here by everyone. The lady grabbed Shen Ru Yuan by her hair and sneered, Don't even think that senior brother will come back to save you. Senior brother is the pride of heaven. A waste like you will never be worthy of him, Shen Ruoyuan replied weakly. I didn't, to herself, she whispered. I just want to live peacefully. Why does everyone have to treat me like this? It's my fault for being blind and trusting that scum. Leading to the current situation, if I could cultivate, if I were strong enough, I would definitely take care of these people and the entire Supreme Sword sect. All of them, the lady laughed mockingly at Shen Ruoyuan comparing her to a pathetic dog. As someone approached them, one of the ladies urged the one grabbing Shen Ruo Yuan to look behind her. She saw Su Chang Sheng and called him senior brother. One of the ladies exclaimed, I didn't expect senior brother to come looking for her. The others fretted, offending senior brother, 
We will really be in trouble, sweating in fear. One of them couldn't say a word. The three ladies then bowed before Su Chang Sheng, while Shen Ruoyuan remained on the floor. The middle lady confessed, It was me, and I was wrong. The others chimed in, Yes, we won't dare anymore. Su Chang Sheng instructed them, Get out quickly, and remember, Don't spread what happened today. The three ladies slid to the exit door and synchronized their response. Yes, senior brother. Su Chang Shang wondered to himself, I didn't even do anything. Why are they so frightened? The leader of the ladies pondered, What should we do? I can't understand why senior brother would come back to find this useless person. Another added, Yeah, and even playing the hero to save her. It's not his character. They noted Su Chang Shang's specific order not to spread the events of the day. The leader then had a realization. I understand now. Senior brother Su Changsheng must be thinking about how he picked up this toy back then and now wants to play with her in different ways in his cave. Truly worthy of senior brother. So cunning. In another scene, Su Changsheng approached Shen Ruiyuan, who lay hurt on the floor. He asked gently, Are you alright? Shen Ruiyuan, unable to see clearly, asked, Did you save me? May I ask who you are? Su Changsheng pondered to himself, according to the plot, she is currently in a state of impaired vision. Should I reveal my identity? As Su Changsheng gently held her soft hands, Shen Ruoyuan said to him, I apologize for the presumption. You must be a senior with a very high realm to be able to drive away those disciples without resorting to violence. As Su Changsheng thought to himself, she is imagining things quite reasonably, but I don't know what's wrong with those few people. They looked as if they had seen a ghost. I have always been portrayed as friendly and charming, so why are they suddenly scared of me? Shen Ruoyuan then expressed her gratitude. Thank you very much for helping me out tonight. I will leave the Supreme Sword Sect, but I will definitely repay this favor in the future. Senior brother, Su Changsheng asked Shen Ruoyuan. What repayment? As he tried to support her as she struggled to stand up straight. Suddenly, Su Changsheng had a vision of Shen Ruoyuan holding a blade and yelling, Su Changsheng, go die! Attempting to strike him with a knife, Su Changsheng thought to himself, how is this repaying a favor? He then held her by the shoulders and told Shen Ruoyuan firmly, you can't leave, she asked. Senior? Su Changsheng explained to Shen Ruoyuan, this concerns the future. I suggest you reconsider. He thought to himself, if you leave, won't I suffer? Shen Ruoyuan began to cry and asked, Senior, do you think I still have a future? Her eyes were unclear, filled with tears. With both eyes unclear and my dear master and granny now deceased and ascended, there is only endless humiliation and bullying for me in the Supreme Sword sect. Su Changsheng reassured her, Actually, I know you. In my eyes, you have great talent. He touched her shoulder gently, and Shen Ruawan asked about her talent, expressing doubt. But for a long time, everyone has said I am useless. To herself, Shen Ruan thought, Senior's strength is formidable. There is no reason for you to say that to me. I can't bring you any benefits. Su Changsheng knelt in front of Shen Ruyuan, trying to meet her gaze from a different angle. He held her hand and said, Don't worry, I am your friend. You don't need to be afraid. Su Changsheng thought to himself, Anyway, it's like this now. She can't see clearly, doesn't know who I am. Let's act like a big shot first and stabilize her before revealing my identity. He then asked, By the way, are your eyes not good? Shen Ruyuan replied, It's an old illness from childhood, plus my recent sadness over my granny's passing. But, senior, you need not worry. Su Changsheng gave Shen Ruyuan a pill, explaining, This is a clearing and turbid pill. It will help your eyes. But one pill won't cure it. This medicine must be taken for a long time. I will come back later. Chen Royuan expressed her surprise. Senior, I never expected that in the Supreme Sword Sect. Besides my granny, there would be someone who cares about me. Tu Changsheng then said, You don't need to call me senior. Just call me senior brother. I have some things to attend to, so I will leave now. Su Changsheng thought about Zhao Siyu and muttered to himself, If I don't go back soon... I don't know what that woman will do. Shen Ruoyan thanked Su Changsheng as he took his leave. While walking towards his room, Su Changsheng remarked to himself, The original Su Changsheng is a tyrant scum. Even the place he lives in is well maintained. 
suddenly, he remembered that Zhao Siyu wanted to be in his room. Su Changsheng sighed. No time to enjoy the scenery. Just now, in order to leave early, I agreed for Zhao Siyu, that girl, to stay in my bedroom. I should go see what trouble she has caused. Su Changsheng pushed open the door to his room and was surprised to find it well prepared and the bed neatly made. He asked aloud, What's going on? As he searched for Zhao Siu, he was suddenly grabbed by the wrist and pulled onto the bed. Su Changsheng found himself on top of Zhao Siu, who wrapped her legs around him, saying, Su Changsheng, do you like the new bedroom? Thank you for tuning into my videos. I hope you've been enjoying them. I'd like to ask for a small favor. I've noticed that only 7.7% .7 of you are subscribed to my channel. To all my viewers, I greatly appreciate your support in helping my channel grow. Please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, and sharing your feedback with me. Your input will help me enhance the quality of my videos. Thank you all so much, and lots of love to each and every one of you.